Radical. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Me, I just got me some chicken. I got home from a drive in my 94 Sentra, which needs a timing chain. Drive's almost perfect, almost perfect, except for like a weird sound at the back near the brakes. Might need some brakes, you know, minor. But uh, I definitely do need the timing chain. I mean, it doesn't shut off, and it's a very viable vehicle to drive around in while I'm figuring out what to do with my transmission issue in the 2010 Impala. So I'm juggling a lot of things here. You know, real life stuff, right? Uh, and I'm outside. I'm just looking at the clouds. There's a nice cool breeze coming by. Almost perfect weather. I'm really enjoying in the almost perfect weather. I, I Part of me doesn't even want to go inside. You know, I might eat my chicken out here. This is just nice. Peaceful, serene. I, I feel good. I feel nice, you know. Um, but I, I feel like I want to upload this. And I meant to do this like a month ago. I meant to do this like right after the April Fool's upload, which was me talking about, you know, no long my time on YouTube might be limited, some, something like that. And a part of me wants to apologize to people because a lot of people actually did believe that I was 100%, you know, done leaving YouTube. And the thing about the April Fool's uploads is for them to be successful, I've done some before, and some people kind of saw through them. For a successful YouTube upload of the April Fool's variety, there has to be deception. It has to be. That's It's based upon deception. It's called April Fool's for a reason. Uh, I had so many people that... Uh, well, not so many. I'll say maybe a handful of people and some some of the trashy trolls that actually have gotten rid of and deleted, you know, that were trying to give me a whole lot of shit for that upload. Trying to heavily criticize me for doing that, saying it's for shock value, saying I want to get views and whatnot. And my answer to that is, can you point to any time, any time in the past that was not April Fool's? where I was trying to actively actually fool people. And they were using the term clickbait, saying you're now a clickbaiter. Uh, there are situations to where you get a pass for doing something. Let me, let me think of a good analogy here. Uh, let's say there you go to a parking lot. You go to a parking lot and you see a dog or a baby in a vehicle and it's 100 degrees and the windows are rolled up. Most specifically, it'd be more important if the baby is in the vehicle and it looks like the baby or the dog is about to pass out, then I think you are justified in A, finding a nearby police officer, if you can, to break the fucking window because somebody was stupid enough to leave their animal or their, you know, heaven forbid, their baby in the vehicle with the windows rolled up. Maybe they were on drugs and they didn't know what they were doing. You're justified in getting a hammer or a rock and breaking the fucking window because you're trying to save a life. Now, that's not the best analogy, you know, you understand. It's April fucking fools. Your job when it comes to uploading something to fool people, which is something I think most YouTubers have done in the past, just out of fun, is to fool people. Now, some people might think it's in poor taste that I did that because, well, um, you're talking about some serious things about, you know, leaving, about, um, you know, how I feel about YouTube, how I have a lot of things happening in my life. Uh, there's certain goals, certain aspirations in life I want to achieve. And I have to be set on these things. And I feel kind of like I can't have a lot of distractions from things that I think are silly and unnecessary and taking an inventory of life and looking at what I need, what I don't need, YouTube actually is something that is an extra type thing. I don't need YouTube to survive. YouTube is just something that it's like watching movies or TVs or playing games. It's something that's just extra. I don't need it. For me, it's entertaining for me to upload. I'm entertained by my uploads. And some of you, hopefully, most of you are entertained by my uploads. Um, so it's like, it's just under entertainment. I don't think much of it. There's no specific goals that I have on YouTube. I don't want to be one of the biggest YouTubers. I don't want to do anything on YouTube. Um, I don't want to fundamentally with my uploads 
a change and restructure things about YouTube, even though there's certain things I don't like, like e-begging. I don't like the super thanks. And I voice my opinions on those. But most of what I do on YouTube is give my thoughts and opinions on things, various things, various people, various games, various movies, vehicle problems I share with. You know, it's mostly just a sharing platform for me. And I share things with people in my regular life every day. I have friends, I have family. So YouTube is just an extra, kind of like a bonus. But I am so locked in right now on the flea marketing and the reselling because there's this thing that all human beings need in life, especially if you possibly one day want to create life of your own, which is one thing I thought about, maybe making a kid before I die. It's funny I say, making a kid! Like you're... I mean, we all know how to make a kid, but it's just kind of funny the way I said that. Um, and maybe I worry about some things happening with fellow family members. Maybe they might be in financial trouble. And I'm somebody that always looks after family. You know, so there's various reasons that I am locking in to reselling as a viable thing to do. Will I always be? Not sure. I mean, I got different irons around the fire. For now, yes. And YouTube is a very, very teeny, teeny, tiny, small fraction of future plans. So when I talked about how I don't have the time for YouTube anymore, a part of that was actually me being honest. I don't have a lot of time for YouTube anymore. And we only have so much time. And I'll be damned if I'm, you know, going to keep at the pace that I've been, both at the job, flea marketing, YouTube, something has to give. You have to take time from somewhere else to make time somewhere else. And that means me uploading less. That means the quality of my uploads not being what they once were years ago. If that's the case, then so be it. We all have to make tough decisions in our life. And, you know, if the time came where I was actually going to leave YouTube, that upload would not be on April 1st. Okay. And I don't want to give anybody any shit for being fooled because it just so happens that was one of the best April Fool's uploads the way it was structured, I believe. I would give it like a 9 out of 10 for, for fooling people. Because I'm sorry it took me a while to circle back. I'm going to circle back to the point of this, which was what is the components of a good April Fool's video? I would say a lot of it has to be grounded in reality, first and foremost. For instance, me having an upload saying that I don't have a lot of time for YouTube anymore, it's something I've talked about various times, and how my time on YouTube might be coming to an end. You know, for a part of me, I'm already gone from YouTube. Like, a part of me is already gone. There's only a small percentage of me actually left and fully engaged in YouTube, you probably have noticed. And I feel that, you know, me even getting the time to upload this and other things is me just actually appreciating the people that have been here for years. So I don't know if I'll ever fully leave YouTube a hundred percent, but it'll be percentages. And in the future, you know, a lot of you, uh, I've considered you, my friends, my buddies, my pals. And if things happen in my life that are momentous, or let's say if I even like, uh, have a, have a spawn, Rick spawns a little radical one or whatever, then that would be something that I would share with a lot of you in the future. Because YouTube, there's that big component that a lot of people actually often don't look at when they're thinking about getting their views and their subs and all this and notoriety, and they want to, you know, get clout or whatever on YouTube. The thing a lot of people forget about is the fact that there are people that you have talked to for years and years and years and years and years. They keep coming by to talk with you and spend their time on your channel. And that is... I, I've just completely been blown away that there's there's those of you that have been here for years, maybe like half a decade, and we've been talking in the comment sections for a long time, and I really, truly appreciate you guys, and that is mostly the reason that I will hopefully never fully leave YouTube. So uh, I'm telling you right now, next year's April Fool's will not be anything related to me leaving YouTube or YouTube coming to an end for me. Now, I did fool some people. Uh, some people mentioned that I fooled Smash JT, and I replied to somebody saying, hey, you even fooled, you know, that dummy Smash, you, Smash JT. I don't know if they call him a dummy, but I, I was like, hey, hey, you can pump the brakes. 
I fooled a lot of people. So there's no shame in being fooled by that. Now, if I had something that was really kind of weird and think of a situation, like if I said that I was uh, joining the Hells Angels or something like that, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a motorcyclist. I don't have a motorcycle. Or let's say if it was me, I won the lottery or something. I don't know. Like then people might smell that from a mile away. And then some people do those kind of April Fool's uploads where people can say, oh, I want to I click on this. This is their April Fool's upload. But truly, I think the best April Fool's upload is are the ones like I did. Now, you might disagree in the comment section down below, and it's perfectly fine. I just feel if you're truly setting out to fool somebody, then you got to commit to it and actually fool some people. Intelligent people, smart people were fooled by this. Another example would be, let's say, let's say you're, you know, Abed Eric. Some of you know who that is. Let's say you're Abed Eric and you have an April Fool's upload and you have yourself in a San Antonio Spurs jersey. And you say that, you know, you're going to be an assistant coach for the San Antonio Spurs or you're going to be their new starting point guard next year. Then people would see through that and they would call out that and say, like, no, no, no. OK, you're not joining the Spurs anytime soon. Right. I mean, I'm not saying he doesn't have any ball and skills. I'm not sure if he's if he's a big time basketball player. I don't know. He might be pretty good. Like I got my moments. I, I can nail some threes. I got my moments, but I don't think any of us are actually going to be joining the San Antonio Spurs anytime soon. But that's along the lines of a, a fun April Fool's upload. What I did was bordering on admittedly maybe in poor taste, clickbaity. I mean, I accept that. But like I said before, it's April Fool's. There is no way to get away from that. There's no way to not have a clickbait upload that is successful and misleading if you're doing it on April the 1st. So there was people coming by and I said, hey, hey, buddy, check the date on that upload. What was the date on that upload? There's that one day of the year that you, I believe, get a pass on those type uploads, and that's on April the 1st. 